Hi guys, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I'm really excited today to show you the very best drawing program for the Surface Go. This is the Surface Go 4 gigabyte model, so it is not the powerful, super beasty 8 gigabyte model. So we're going to do a couple of things that really make this machine fly. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this canvas size up because I really want to demonstrate a couple of things here. So we're going to do 5,000 by 5,000 at 300 dpi, so that looks good. And we're going to push this so you guys can see where it's lagging out. And then I'm going to show this next to the program that I recommend for the Surface Go. All right, so here we are. We have our uh, 5,000 by 5,000 um, pixel canvas, 300 dpi, and we're going to open up our brushes. Right, so we have the brush, the soft round brush set at 2000. And you can see it up here. We're going to tap on this and we're actually going to set the hardness to about 70%. All right. Okay, now this test uh, is one of the ones that we're working on standardizing for tablet users, uh, for people who are using tablet, uh, are doing tablet reviews, because we think this is a really good test. All right, so you can see here, Let's do it one more time. Let's choose a more pleasant color. And we're going to go one, two. Now you guys can see kind of the whole thing. So there's no pause in between. Let's do it one more time. One, two. You can see how it, it performs here. All right, let's go ahead and zoom in. Uh, we're zoomed in at about 50%. We're going to drop down the brush size to 10 pixels. Let's go ahead and make it actual 10. And draw a couple lines here and you can see here these lines are okay. If you zoom in more, the lines get better. And you can see if you zoom in even further that the uh, a lot of the jitter goes away. All right, that's a pretty decent test here. Uh, let's turn pressure on so you guys can see. All right, so let's go to the other program. So you can see here we have the 5,000 by 5,000 at 300 dpi. And uh, let's go ahead and adjust the brush size. I think this is the wrong brush. We're going to use a color blending brush. That actually takes more processing power. All right, so here you can see very, very, very quick. And let's choose a different color so you guys can see the color blending. Now, as an artist, um, that is fantastic. I mean, it is so incredibly fast. Now, this does not, uh, this, is, this is version 2. This is the 521 preview of this year, so about a couple weeks ago. It does not currently support pinch to zoom and multi-touch gestures, but the artist pad, because Paint Tool Sci version 2 uses the new touch API, um, simultaneous pen and touch works absolutely perfectly. It is a fantastic, extremely fast program. Um, it has built in, let's show here a couple things. Um, show quick bar. There we go. Stabilizer set to 12. We set this to zero. You can see that same wobble. So it's the same thing as in, and as if we zoom in and this right here, by the way, this is what you'll see on the surface go. It does not do very light, light, light pressure very well. I recommend highly specifically for that reason that you use the Surface app if you don't have this downloaded from the Windows Store. 
set your pen pressure settings and bring this over to three so that you can control that thin line better. Again, it's not going to do that super, super light um, pressure that you see with the other one. Stabilizer, let's put this back up. And you can see here, this is very zoomed in. And you can see just how, how fast it is. And again, the color blending is superb. Uh, what I really like is I like to set this uh, to hide everything. And then I put it in tablet mode. The reason I do this is because that brings the artist pad all the way down. And then I just have the canvas. All right, now I can bring up palettes. All right, so let's pick another color. Let's choose blue. And make this bigger. choose the pen. Now this is really, really cool. So there's toggle modes in this program. So here I'm using the blending brush. And if I want to use just the pen, the pencil really quick, I can actually just hold it down. And when I release it, it goes back. So I can do really quick edits and blends. And it is, it's really fast. So again, drawing here, I just release and I'm able to switch back to here. And you can erase with the same brush that you're drawing with. Instead of switching to an eraser with a different type of texture, um, you're using the same texture for both. So here and erasing and adding and erasing and adding and I think that is just just wonderful absolutely fantastic implementation paint tool Sci version 2 I'll put a link in the description if you want to see my full setup for this video or for this program if you want to see my full setup which includes how to set up the shortcut keys and the artist pad uh, there's a couple steps to this let me know if this video gets 100 likes I will make a second follow-up video. I want to make sure that I'm using my time on things that you guys care about. So if this video gets 100 likes, I'll make the second video. And I'll have all of my uh, settings and all of my um, shortcuts laid out nice and clearly in that video. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Paint Tool Sci version 2 for the win. It is so, so good. I, I went from not drawing because I was using Photoshop and it was frustrating me to um, painting really consistently because of uh, how well this, really seriously, because of how well this program is working. So I did this one, I did this uh, image in Paint Tool Sci, just so you guys have an understanding of the power of this program. It is fantastic. Uh, I have the speed paint of this video uh, on the channel as well. I'll link to that in the description. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, stay creative.